had a very successful shopping trip. Girl Emma back with another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you my apartment so in my previous video I'll link it here I did an empty apartment tour and I showed you the new pad and I was very excited and we managed to source and find all of the furniture here in under three weeks and have it delivered I want to say a big thank you to you guys because you definitely helped me with the decisions on what to buy over on my Instagram stories I was like this or this so thank you and um, yeah, I'm gonna show you around, tell you where everything is from. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you don't wanna miss out on my weekly videos, hit that subscribe button below, hit the notifications bell so you're reminded every time a new video goes live as I have lots of new videos coming. And uh, let's get into it. How do you furnish a three bedroom apartment? Where do you start? How do you start? We have started out making a little table of all the key things that we need to furnish the apartment and how much the cost is. And we've been sourcing links. I also created a Pinterest board, which I'll put here, of the design because I find this so helpful when starting out and furnishing an apartment to get a clear idea on what you want it to look like. And then you can find similar items for more affordable on different websites. I'm really excited to do this. You know, I love design, I love style, and we're gonna do this on a budget. First stop on the furniture hunt. bit low but if you look at the designers such as Ligny Rosé or Rouge Beauvoir they all have sofas that are on the floor without any little legs but hopefully we'll adjust to the new low sofas like with anything that arrives when you have it delivered it's creased and everything like that so I think if you steam it it's gonna look much better there's a lot here that has arrived the shower and I got a message saying the dining table is arriving so I quickly ran and here is the dining table the big reveal what do you think guys in here we are putting together the study the master bedroom now has a bed we got a super king to fit the space Right now we have some guys from 2XL installing the light fixture. We had to go physically to the stores to buy the things because we need them arriving ASAP. Good morning guys! So today is the day we're moving into the new apartment. Very exciting. But it's also the day I have to film, or I want to film, my outfits video. That's why behind me you can see my rail. So we're combining everything today. I come here super early in the morning to get the filming done before all the workmen come to deliver everything. Someone went shopping to Zara. A very important essential is a robe so that when people come in, I can quickly get changed. Got a new tripod. So we've got a new Hoover. I have to figure out how to build the hoover and then hoover the place. Boxes. 
come on in. Hello. Since you were last here, we have changed quite a bit. We've been living in it for a little bit, so it does look more lived in. It's not gonna be perfect, but I really wanna show you around. So we'll start here, and we have this beautiful mirror from West Elm, the console table from West Elm. And I wanted to avoid gold, so I went for more brassy tones. Here we have this beautiful painting from 2XL, which I think is stunning, it's such a piece. We were gonna put it on that wall and it made more sense to put it on that wall, but I really wanted a huge mirror to take lots of nice pictures for Instagram, for my YouTube channel, you know, to film my looks. And this is the perfect spot with the light and everything, the backdrop. So let me swing you over here. Here's the sideboard from West Elm, which I think is beautiful. I love this mix of marble and then the walnut and it has some brassy tones here. I picked this up from H&M. I really wanted some sculptural vases. I think it's very nice in a home. The little secret about these orchids is that they don't need any water. They are faux orchids. Yeah, and I'm very happy with them. Less maintenance. This gorgeous mirror is from 2XL. I love these circular style mirrors. I think it's so cool. We've got some fashion books. We have some little memories. Dr. Vanji's room diffuser, I love that scent. A Rose Nobile. This is the dining table. It was one of the best buys we made in the apartment. And it is a marble finish, marble style finish. We got these chairs from 2XL and I think that they were a great purchase. They have this like leather and fabric mix. I like thin chairs, I don't like really bulky chairs. I think that's a bit outdated. The lights are from West Elm. I really think these are a great feature. This area is my favorite area in the entire home. I absolutely love this cloud sofa. It's called a cloud sofa because you're meant to float in it rather than sit on it. And when you're on it, you just feel like you're floating. It's amazing. You feel like you're on cloud nine. We got the rug from 2XL the beautiful marble coffee tables, which were a bit more pricey, but I think definitely worth it from Cozy Home. I went for this black and white monochromatic look for the living room. I was inspired by looking on Pinterest and I'm gonna incorporate some color through flowers, through books, but at the moment it's still quite monochromatic. The armchair from Home Center is over here. This little coffee table is from Ibaza coffee or drinks table, depending what your choice is. These truffle cushions are from the Loom collection. I've got this cushion cover from H&M. I love this uh, print, very Dior style. The light is from 2XL. I love in the evenings putting on some dim lighting around and not having these like harsh lights from above. This we haven't found a home for yet, but I love it. It's from West Elm, it's this mushroom light. I've got this little sculpture from H&M. I did a little H&M haul and I picked up some great home pieces. This floor lamp is from West Elm and I wanted something a little bit different and I really love this tripod stand. I think it's very cool. Last time I showed you outside, we were saying there wasn't much room for anything. Could maybe just put down a yoga mat. Well, we managed to find some really nice fun. From home center, we have these beautiful chairs. You can smoke shisha here, have some drinks while getting ready. One thing I really love about this size of apartment is you can entertain. In London, I have a small apartment. I'm not really inviting people over for dinners and things like that. We're doing an Easter dinner tonight, which I'm super excited about. I've planned some amazing dishes to be made, some chicken curry from Cipriani, uh, what else, some lamb, healthy, delicious salads, beetroot, burrata, things like that. So it's gonna be amazing, can't wait to show you. So this is the kitchen, guys, but not much action takes place here, really because we're out all the time having dinners. But saying that, I think you've seen a few of my little homemade recipes, wraps, avocado toast, things like that, omelets, pancakes, you know, the basics. I make my Kiss the Hippo coffee here every day. The guest bathroom, guys. We just added a few little additions, some Joe Malone hand wash and hand cream, some little hand towels. Nothing really changed here. Washing machine and dryer. I got this rack from Ikea to put the comfort and conditioner and all the stuff that you need for washing. <laughs> you can see she doesn't do the washing herself. This is the study area and it's so nice to have a little study room. When I'm working in London, I have my living room or I have my back bedroom, but it doesn't really feel like a study here. I can completely focus to do my emails, admin, calls, Zoom, editing, all those things. The desk is from West Elm. The chair is also from West Elm. The bed and the side table and this 
wardrobe is from all from home center and this chair is also from home center it's super comfy you know if i'm taking a phone call and i don't want to be sat at my desk i can look up at the view I can be here this kind of gives me ralph lauren vibe this is from home center and i think it's very cool it's like more of a cultural piece you know it looks like an arabian horse the brown walls and the carpet were a tricky design element to go around but we managed and I went for very neutral tones. The bed is from Beds and Pillows. The chest of drawers looks like it's from West Elm but it's actually from Home Center. It's a little dupe you could say. Uh, the light here is from West Elm. The desk is from West Elm. The chair is from Home Center and I love this design so beautiful. This gorgeous chair is from Home Center. I love boucle chairs and this one is perfect because you can really relax into it. I love this bathroom, so much natural light. I've been doing some makeup routine videos here, my morning routine, I'll link it here in the description box below. But yes, yeah, beautiful marble floors, marble everywhere. <laughs> so guys, now I'm going to show you my walk-in closet. So this is really everything I brought with me and a few extra pieces that I've picked up. So I keep my shoes here, my bags, hats, that, more bags. And I would say it's quite organized. It could be better. Got my new boots, which I love. Trying to keep them clean and white. But yeah, I love this closet. Having a walk-in closet is amazing. Guys, it has been a very busy but productive shopping. Got all of this for the dinner. And I have someone behind helping. I went to H&M, Zara, got so many things and I'm really happy. So I'm back guys and I wanted to show you all the amazing goodies that I picked up for today's dinner. We're doing an Easter dinner and I have picked out some really cool homeware pieces that I think will last not just for Easter but for the whole of spring and summer to come. So I'm really excited to show you these things. Let's first start with Jo Malone. So I've been getting lots of interest on tablescaping on Pinterest and I saw a Pinterest and it had some Jo Malone candles. I was like, mm, yes, that's gonna be good. And I went for these gorgeous small travel candles and I thought to put them around the table. I know they smell amazing, so it's gonna create the most beautiful scent. This one is Red Roses, English Pear and Frasier. Sorry, Frasier. English Pear and Frasier and Peony and Blush Suede. And I think they're gonna look really cute and just add that finishing touch to the table. Then, to make the room smell really nice, I went for the Pomegranate Noir Room Spray. And I just think scent is so important when setting the right ambiance. Let's move on to the pieces I got from Zara Home. So I got some table mats. We, I wanted to go for some round table. The color theme today is going to be yellow. As you can see, there's some yellow, peach, and white flower. And then I thought to incorporate the yellow on the table, well, these table mats would go really well. So for the table, I got these beautiful candlesticks. They're glass and they have this beautiful detailing. And they'd sold out of most of them, but I managed to get these. Just about to show you these that I got from H&M Home. The bottom part fell and smashed, but I hope three is going to be enough because now we don't have four. When we put the candle inside, I think it's gonna be a really nice effect. Bought these candles from Pottery Barn. So those are going to go inside like this. I went for these little tea light holders and they did have them in a blue and a light pink, but I didn't want to have too many colors on the table. So keeping it with a color theme, I thought the glass would work really well. These candles from Pottery Barn. I bought these from Pottery Barn and they're actually for Turkish coffee, but I couldn't find any little egg holders. It sold out everywhere. so. These are going to have to suffice. I got this basket from H&M Home and I thought to create a little station of desserts and I'm gonna put some eggs in here. I also picked up these vases from Pottery Barn. I just thought they were really cute. I like the hint of green color and the shape. I thought these were beautiful. I always love glass that's slightly tinted. Those are the perfect bud vases. This got broken, so I bought another one. I also like to put a little flower in front so you get a reflection. This from H&M Home as I really love sculptural pieces, as I mentioned earlier, and I just think what's really cool is you can put some faux orchids, some orchids that don't require any water, <laughs> and you don't see the base of them. You don't see that they don't need water, and they look more real. But look, it's so cool. Aside from lots of flowers, I got these beautiful green plants. This is eucalyptus plant. Mm, I think it makes the home look very elegant and a little bit more luxe. Bunny rabbits I picked up from Pottery Barn. They had four left, I was like, why not? 
I really hope the dinner goes well this evening. Yeah, and I better start setting up, so I'll see you in a little bit. tour guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'd love to know which was your favorite piece in the apartment or was there something that you didn't like you can let me know we're also not completely finished there's a few extra things that we need so do give me some ideas or any suggestions you have any questions send them my way i love hearing from you guys we can hang out in the comments if you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up if you don't want to miss out my next videos fashion hauls lifestyle travel videos then hit that subscribe button below, come join the family, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.